All right, let's get over to First Alert Meteorologist Dave Aguilar. Dave, we did have some storms that are making their way out. Yeah, just east of the city. Quite a show out there as far as uh, cloud watching goes. Take a look at this. Doug McCarthy in the Inspiration subdivision east of Parker shot this huge thunderstorm out there. You could see it capped off on the top here, but just building up with a lot of lift. Heat of the day, a cold front, and everything coming together with the moisture to produce some of these thunderstorms. And you can see those here on the high res uh, radar here from uh, just outside of Nebraska here. All all the way down to south of Lyman. Pretty big thunderstorms going on. Uh, the one that he caught in that picture here is this line that's moving out towards Lyman out here and Kit Carson. That's headed your way in Burlington and out along I-70 out there. But we had a really big rainstorm go through the Byers area here. We have a flood advisory there till 645. They had one to two inches of rain in about 30 minutes right along I-70 out there. So some minor street flooding might still be going on out there. And the uh, same amounts on some of these the smaller storms outside of Lyman, Kit Carson, all the way down into southeastern Colorado. A cluster of storms moving in northern Weld County, pushing over into Morgan County here from Fort Morgan into Sterling. Could have some good gusty thunderstorms there, and it's a little weak baby storm going into Wellington right now, north of Fort Collins and up towards Carr at the moment here. We've had some storms down to the southeast and out west, but they haven't uh, really been um, amounting to a whole lot, either water or wind or anything like that. Observed highs today. We had a cold front go through, so from Colorado Springs, Lyman back up into Denver, Greeley, Boulder in the 70s for a lot of these areas. Their official high 79 in Denver today. So a really nice cool down going on. And we're still seeing lots of 70s where it's rained. We've already dropped into the 60s this afternoon and it's 76 from Tom Rupert in Centennial. So the storms will be moving out tonight. I think by uh, just before midnight, we still might have some action out here in the northeast. And then that pulls out in the morning. A little bit of rain in the northwest corner of the state. Otherwise clear to start the day. And then we've got another chance of thunderstorms after about 3 o'clock moving through Denver and northeastern Colorado here. And late in the day, late in the afternoon, early evening, up here in the corner of the state, Sterling up into Nebraska here, there's a chance some of that weather might get severe, meaning one inch diameter hail and maybe 60 mile per hour winds as well. So a cool night across the state tonight. High temps tomorrow, 80s to near 90 here across the eastern plains. Another nice day, 60s and 70s in the mountains and west. So for tonight, isolated storms mainly south and east. They are moving away, so most of us will stay dry tonight. We'll be in the 50s for the overnight low. Near 80 tomorrow for the high. Sunny early with isolated afternoon thunderstorms. 82 on Saturday. There's a small chance of an isolated storm late in the day, but it might be a good idea if you're into checking out the fall colors early. Now through September 25th, Fifth, the northern part of Colorado is at its peak here along I-70. It's going to take maybe another week or two before we get into that zone. But already northern Colorado changing some pretty good colors. Hot for the Bronco game on Sunday at 88, near 90 Monday and Tuesday. And then Karen, by the time we get to the middle of next week, we cool it down to the 70s and get another round of well, another chance with showers and thunderstorms. And just in time too, because fall arrives on Thursday, so we ought to be in the 70s to start. Fall, right? It is going to feel so nice, I isn't think it? it? Will. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've been so toasty lately. All right, thank you, Dave. You bet. Well, it's next man up at Broncos headquarters. Roman Bean explains.